Hi, so today I'm going to show you how to make bullet points appear line by line, both automatically and by using the mouse. So here I've just set up a default document, nothing too complicated, with a series of bullet points. So what we need to do, I'm just going to click on one of these bullet points, which will bring up this border here. And then I'm going to just simply click at the bottom right and drag my cursor up to the top left. And then I'm going to go to up to animations. And within the animations tab, we're presented with this ribbon here. And what this allows us to do is select from a number of different options. And these options refer to the way in which your bullet points will appear in your presentation. So I think the most common one is this fly in here. So I'm just going to click on that. And then what happens is that on the right hand side, this menu will appear here. And each bullet point will have a number to the left. Now, if we were just to click on our slideshow and click our mouse, all of our bullet points appear at the same time. Now we can affect each of those, ensuring that all of our bullet points are highlighted. We can go down to effect options. Now this refers to where our text will appear from. Currently, it's at the bottom. If we click on left, then our text will appear from the left hand side of the page. And if we just click on our presentation, you can see our bullet points will appear from the left. So we set up our bullet points so they come into the presentation from the left hand side. But if we wanted to automate it so they came in one by one, we just simply have to go up to the menu here, click Control or Command A, which has highlighted all the bullet points, and then go up to this element here, this icon that says start. Click on the drop down and go to after previous. Once you do that you'll see there's these little clocks that appear against each bullet point up here in the menu. And then again if we click on our presentation all of our bullet points will arrive one at a time. Now what we have done is we've applied it to the top one here which means that those bullet points will appear straight after the title rather than when we click the mouse. So we can change that top one, go up to the start again, click on the drop down and press on on click. And with that, if we go back to our presentation, we just have our title, but then when we click our mouse, then all the bullet points arrive one at a time. So if we wanted our bullet points to come in one at a time when we click the mouse, then there's two ways that we can do it. The first way is to click on the second bullet point down with the clock, go down to the bottom, hold the shift key and click, which highlights all of these bullet points with the clock. Go back up to the start, click on the drop down and click on click. And with that, you can see that each bullet point number here has changed in order of sequence. So now if we click on our presentation, we click the mouse, click again, click again, so on and so forth until we get to the final bullet point. The second way to make sure that your bullet points come in on the click of your mouse is to go to the number to the left of the bullet point so leave the first one as it is, click on the second one, go up and click on the drop down and press on click. And then you can see that everything else has a number two by it. So what would happen if I clicked my mouse, my title would come up, I would click my mouse and this first bullet point would come in. If I click my mouse again, the whole of these bullet points here, numbered number two, would come in at the same time. So we need to go down to the next one and go up to the same icon and just continue to go along 
until you have gone through all of your bullet points. As you can see, as you go through on the right hand menu, each bullet point will have this arrow icon, which means that this bullet point is going to come into your presentation via the fly in on click. So again, go up to number, uh, we're on number five now, click with previous on click and just keep going through until you've gone through all your bullet points. Now what this does allow you to do is that if you didn't want all of them to come in on click and you wanted some to, get, to come in together, then of course you can go ahead and do that. So once you've changed all these numbers to on click, check your menu to the left, to the right here, check your menu over here and check that it's got all of these uh, arrow icons in. Then you can go down to your presentation and then just click the mouse keep clicking and once again they all come in on click with your mouse. So if you wanted two of these bullet points to come in together, let's say that they were related, so say we wanted bullet point number four and five to come in together, then all we need to do is to click on this number and then to go up and click with previous and that will turn it into number four. So if the bullet points share these numbers it means that they will come into your presentation at the same time. And let's just have a look at that on the presentation. So I click my mouse, and now we should have two bullet points that come in together, and then the rest of your bullet points in sequence. Now, often with bullet points and transitions and animations, often timings come into play as well. So what we can do is we can also adjust the timings of these bullet points so they can come in faster or slower. So again, if you click on the top bullet point, go down to the bottom one, hold the shift key and click, we've now highlighted all of our bullet points and they're currently flying in from the left on click. But we're also given these options at the bottom here, effect options, timings and triggers. We can go to effect options and again we can affect where they come from. So if you've decided that actually you don't want them coming in from the left but you want them coming in from the top, top left, top right, etc. then you can select from that menu. If you go to timings you can also adjust how long that bullet point takes to come into the presentation. So currently it's on the very fast setting which is 0.5 seconds. If you click on these arrows, then you get a choice here, there's some default timings here, or you can go along to the bottom here and just input your own timings. So let's say we just go to one second and it will adjust it accordingly. And again down to triggers, and because we set up our bullet points as they are, we will just keep as part of the click sequence checked here. So let's see what that does to our presentation. We'll just click on the presentation icon and as I click my mouse you can see that our bullet points have slowed down in the way that they come into our presentation. And finally what I'm going to show you is how to change your transitions if you've inserted a picture or a diagram of some description into your presentation. So once you've inserted your picture you're going to want to give it an animation. So again, go up to animations, and I think for this picture, we'll probably choose expand. Once you click on it, it will give you a quick preview of that um, animation. And once this has an animation, you'll also be given a number, and that number will obviously be in the sequence of the bullet points and where this will appear once you click your mouse. Now if we go over to this menu here, you can see that our image is called Content Placeholder 12. So it will currently appear in ninth place. So on click, you can see here it's going to appear on click, which means when I click my mouse, it will appear after bullet point number eight, because this is currently number nine. Now let's say for example, this picture was related to bullet point number two. What we can do is very simply, click on the transition here, click and drag it up to either before or after bullet point number two. 
So now our content placeholder or our image has become number three, as you can see here. And what that's done is it's turned everything else into sequence after it. So the sequence will go number one, number two, number three, number four, and so on. So let's just have a look at that in the slideshow. Again, I've got my title. I click once, I click again, and then now we should get the image. And then click again and all the way through once again down to bullet point number eight. And that's the way in which you can affect your sequence. Now, if you wanted this to appear at the same time as bullet point number two, then all you need to do is click on number three, go up to this icon, the start icon, and click with previous. That turns it to number two. And bullet point two is also number two. And where bullet points or sentences share these numbers, they will appear at the same time. So you can see what's happened up here is they've both got number two, but the second one here, which is our image, doesn't have an on click because it's simply going to come in once you click on bullet point number two. So again, let's have a quick look at that in the presentation. Again, our title, click the mouse, and now we should get the bullet point and the image at the same time and then continue clicking on through our presentation. Okay, well, I hope that's helped today. If it has, please subscribe and have a great day.